Hi, Liz McGaffey here with a quick preview of what you can expect to see in tomorrow's paper. Uh, first, we talked to some first responders about what they're doing to help out in the Houston area. Several of them have been uh, down in the Houston area helping out uh, for about the past week. Um, in City Council news, in the Senior Citizens of Rowlett presented awards to a couple of local businesses that they consider to be senior friendly. Also, the council approved uh, the next step toward the Bayside projects and talk some more about the budget uh, and we'll have an overview of that as well. In addition, um, the board president of Garland ISD spoke with an education expert about some of the issues that are plaguing public education right now. So you'll want to be sure and check that out. Um, a lot of uh, and unanswered questions out there. You can check that out in tomorrow's paper while at Lakeshore Times and at lakeshoretimes.com. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, this is Devin Hassan, sports editor at Rattlet Lakeshore Times. Just wanted to give you a rundown on what I'm going to be covering this week. Uh, busy week with the week two of football, as well as the start of the district volleyball season with a big game out at Saxe with Rattlet and Saxe, the two co-favorites going into the year. I'll be at the Cotton Bowl for the second annual Cotton Bowl Prep Showcase. Uh, once again, Rattlet's part of uh, the uh, four to the eight team field. Eagles looking to bounce back from a loss to Louisville, 24 to 10 last week. It's going to be tough though because it's a renewal of the Lake Ray Hubbard rivalry featuring. Rockwall, who had a huge win last week, uh, rallying over a uh, reigning 5A champion Highland Park 53-49. These two teams usually have good games, and last year was no exception, Rattlet pulling out a 34-32 victory. For updates on that game, as well as on other games around the area, follow me on Twitter at Devin Hassan, and check out our website, StarLocalMedia.com, backslash sports. Thanks.